Today's Club Pop will be having a look at Lester Fixen's Bacon Soda. Boy, oh boy, it's been a long time since I've had bacon soda. This is actually another bacon soda. I picked this one up from the good folks over at BaconFreak.com. Spots picked up a handful of sodas. I picked up about eight sodas or so, so if you probably guys have been watching all those reviews, joining along in Spots Adventures through new and interesting sodas. And this one is certainly no different baking soda. Um, Bacon Freak has also been nice enough to provide you guys a 10% off coupon. So if you guys want to try some really cool sodas like Spot's been trying, by all means click the link down below that I'm going to supply. You guys can try these out yourself. And you know what? You guys can let me know as well. If you've tried them, let me know down below what you guys have thought of them. It is made in the USA. It's pure cane sugar on the front. Two delicious strips of bacon. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Kind of looks like rooftop shingles. Although I wouldn't want to shingle my roof with bacon. As delicious as that might sound, I'm sure in a hot summer's day that grease would drip down and burn somebody. There's Lester fixing up at the top. Still kind of think he looks like George Burns. Just a little bit. Um, if we're looking at calories, that would be on the other side of the label spot. You're looking at 170 calories, which I guess most of these sodas have been ranging at around 170 for the most part. I don't know if there's been a couple of them that have been over. Needless to say, let's put that aside. If you are new to this, hello. This guy is reviewing sodas, such as you see right here. Um, again, this isn't the first soda that I tried. I tried another soda too for life, I can't remember what it was called, but uh, this is the first Lester Fixins. And I gotta say, Lester Fixins has been turning out some really interesting sodas. I got myself the Death Star, yes, in my hand. I have the Death Star in my hand. I'm gonna use this and open up this bottle kind of have to make sec two runs ironically enough you have to make two runs with the Death Star to open up a bottle I find it doesn't quite open just right but it's magnetic and it sits on my fridge and I look at it with wonder and delight and I look at it and think hmm I either want to fight for the rebellion or I want to open up a bottle of soda you can see which route I've gone today it smells like bacon now I'm gonna pour this I got myself a glass as you see right here, I'm going to pour some off into the said glass, and it's probably about the color of, what would you ballpark that at? Maybe like a cranberry cocktail, maybe, what, sorry? A darker colored iced tea, I see that, I can see what you're saying there. It's a little more red in color than an iced tea. Mmm, -mm, the smell of bacon. It is, it's actually, it smells nice. It doesn't smell too smoky. I know, I think the last bacon soda I had was very smoky. This one actually smells pretty good. Let's give this a try, though. Bacon soda, the second bacon soda reviewed on this channel. Let's give this a try, find out what it's like. I can tell you, yeah, there it is. The Lester Fixin' sodas haven't been as strong as I was expecting them to be. The bacon soda isn't as smoky as I believe it was Jones Soda, the, the other one that I did. The Jones Soda had a much more smokier bacon taste to it. This one tastes more like if you had just cooked bacon. It doesn't have the smokiness of, I would say, artificial bacon flavoring. This tastes more like bacon, like if I cooked in the microwave and then just went because I would probably cook it, you know, you'd probably sit it on paper towels to get all that extra grease out. Well, I would have wrung it through and put it into the soda. That's what it tastes like. It tastes more like bacon than I think the other one, than the other soda. So it's not bad. It's by no means something that you're probably going to want to sit down on a hot summer's day and quench your thirst with. This is more or less a try soda or certainly by all means a sip and then maybe offer some to your friends so they can try it as well. And they can say, holy cow, that's bacon. And you could say, holy cow, aren't you happy you're my friend or I'm your friend. You can benefit from my bacon soda. If you want to try this bacon soda again, you can click the link down below. This one's actually pretty interesting. Pretty interesting indeed. It's not strong, but it's definitely not a drink I'm going to want to drink a lot of. Today at Club Pop, we're having a look at the Lester Fixin's Bacon Soda. Certainly, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Spot's going to be having a look at a couple more sodas from Lester Fixin's and Bacon Freak. So stay tuned for that. 
See you guys next time.